They send him their deepest needs by the tens of thousands and tens of thousands of dollars, too. But how many of those prayer requests does televangelist Kenneth Copeland actually see? Some insiders say... Zero percent. Brett Chip investigates. This is News 8 Now in High Definition. Good evening. This is your High Definition Update. I'm Gloria Campos. I'm John McKay. One day after the announcement of a congressional investigation into their ministry finances, televangelist Kenneth and Gloria Copeland of Fort Worth may have a new set of problems. Revelations from former ministry insiders saying Copeland's faithful followers are being misled, and they say it's time for the truth to come out. News 8's Brett Shipp has been investigating the Copeland TV ministry, and he joins us now with details. Brett? Gloria, John, the lifeblood of the Copeland Ministry operations is tens of thousands of tax-free dollars that roll in on a mail truck every day. Most of that money is sent in along with personal prayer requests that are processed by workers inside the ministry. While the Copelands have no trouble spending the money inside the envelopes, how many of those prayer requests do they really see? Tonight, News 8 investigates. Would you join me in welcoming Brother Kenneth Copeland? It was News 8 that first reported on the private use of the Copeland Ministries $20 million jet and trips made to a ski resort and exotic game hunting ranch. But the real turbulence for the Copeland's ministry may come from within the security gates of his Eagle Mountain Church and ministry headquarters north of Fort Worth from former employees who tell News 8, Shout amen, somebody! The Kenneth and Gloria Copeland you see on TV, Glory to God, are not the Kenneth and Gloria of real life. We were treated like galley slaves. In my eyes, there's deception. There's a fear mentality placed on people that work there. Just three former Copeland Ministry employees speaking out about the disappointment of discovering what really goes on inside. I started going to church there in 1994. Among them, Jeff Spradlin, who says he grew up admiring the Copelands and was excited to get a job working for them. It's within 90 days, I started realizing this was a huge mistake. For nearly two years, Spradlin worked in the mail processing center where prayer request envelopes stuffed with cash would arrive every morning. He says a group of ministers, not the Copelands, would pray over the unopened envelopes. But Spradlin says he and other mail processors were the only ones who actually read the requests. And I, I was sitting there getting this paperwork all the day and going, Kenneth and Gloria don't see a word of this. How many of these prayer requests, to your knowledge, do Kenneth and Gloria Copeland see and or pray over? None that I know of. This former employee also processed prayer requests and sent return letters crafted to give the look of a personal response. In fact, the ministry recently bought a new high-tech printer, which according to the manufacturer, gives Copeland a finished document that looks 100% personalized. Amen! They think when they get that letter back that someone has actually prayed. Is that they misleading? Don't understand that that was actually just processed into a computer. Do you think that that is Very misleading? misleading? I worked there for six months. From Nathan Boutwell says he, not Copeland, read the prison ministry prayer requests. There was no actual human contact with that letter besides my eyes, but that's okay. He gets 10,000 letters a week. But admit that. Don't imply that you read these personally when you don't. Hallelujah. Said, the former employees we spoke to also say their spirits sank after learning Kenneth and Gloria have little, if any, contact with their faithful followers. That's the one time I saw the man was at the Christmas party. I uh, was in an elevator with Gloria once. And they had little, if any, contact with their 500 employees. And it was an unwritten law that if Kenneth or Gloria walked through the office, you don't see them, you don't speak to them. Former employees we talk to say when the Copelands are not on the road, they spend their days inside of their 18,000 square foot parsonage on the shores of Eagle Mountain Lake, surrounded by hundreds of acres of range and ranch land, not far from their tennis courts and boathouse. The only access we could get to Copeland was to slip past his backstage security at a recent prayer rally at a public park in Granbury. Ms. Copeland, Brett Ship with Channel 8 News. Can we talk to you? Sure. Great. 
but his tenor changed once we asked the question, does he personally read and pray over his partner's prayer requests? Do you personally pray over your prayer requests that you get? Do you personally pray over those? Do you ever see them? Oh, yes. You do? When do you oh, see yes. them, sir? When do you see your prayer requests? Well, that is between me and my partners. Copeland later told us his ministry is so large that he has to have a prayer team help him read the requests. Do you ever see the, those prayer requests? Do you ever see them? Do you ever touch them? Do you ever read them? Yes, I do. Again, according to Spradlin, how much of this mail and correspondence they see and or pray over? Zero percent. Zero. Zero. And then on your weekends, you're out preaching all over the world, you need a jet. Copeland says he has little contact with his staff because he and Gloria are private people who are on the road preaching much of the time. And as for our questions of him... You don't want to talk about the productive side of the ministry. You just want to run me down. You want to, you want to tear down everything you can. And I don't, I don't understand that. But Spradlin says what he and the others want Copeland to understand is that it's not about tearing a ministry down, but for the first time, exposing the truth. This is about coming to terms with it, understanding what, what I went through, and that this isn't God. We are already hearing from devoted Copeland followers upset that we're making no mention of the ministry's positive spiritual message that the Copelands spread around the world. No one is criticizing that message, just raising questions about whether Kenneth and Gloria Copeland are practicing what they preach. And Gloria and John, the folks we're talking to at least, say this is sending a mixed message. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thank Appreciate you for the your report. report.